Welcome back dear students. Today we are going to discuss sclerides which is another type of sclerenchyma cells. Uh, so let's move on to some of the important distinguishing features of sclerides. Sclerides are short cells which possess extremely thick laminated walls with long tubular simple pits. Here you can see. I will make a diagram. These are short cells, relatively short cells as compared to fibers that we have discussed in the previous part. And their walls are extremely thick. They possess walls, secondary wall in the form of laminated layers. Okay, that means they have multiple layers. And these cells originate from ordinary parenchymal cells by the deposition of secondary wall layers. Unlike fibers, which originate from the vascular cambium that we have discussed in the previous part, these cells originate from ordinary parenchymal cells by extra deposition of secondary wall layers okay. and these cells may be simple or they may be branched okay and their shape uh, and size varies a great deal they may be spherical oval cylindrical dumbbell shaped or even star shaped this comes stilate both there. and these cells usually occur in hard parts of plants Example is endocarp of almond, coconut, and hard seed coats. And these cells are found scattered in the region of cortex and pith in case of nymphia. In nymphia, you will find these cells in cortex and pith. And these cells also occur most commonly in the pulp of some fruits. Example is the stone cells of pulp of pear. Jo pear hota hai, usme jo stone cells hoti hai, okay, crispy cells. These cells are actually the sclerides. Now the different types of sclerides. There are different types of sclerides and the first one is brachysclerides or stone cells. These cells are small, more or less isodiametric cells and occur in cortex, pith, phloem and pulp of pear. Here you can see these are the sclerides, these are isodiametric cells, okay. And the second type is macrosclerides or rod cells. Uh, these cells are rod shaped elongated sclerides and they are usually found in leaves and seed coats of plants. These are the macrosclerides or you can say rod shaped sclerides. Then third type is osteosclerides or bone cells. These cells are bone shaped or barrel shaped which are dilated at their ends. Example is leaf of hachia. Here you can see these are the osteosclerides. These are bone shaped. Okay. These are dilated. These are extended at their ends here and found in the leaves of hachia which is a plant. And then we have astrosclerides or stellate cells. These sclerides are star shaped and they have extreme lobes or orbits. Here you can see these are star shaped cells which are known as astrosclerides and the example is leaf of nymphia. You will find them in the leaves of nymphia. And finally we have tri trichosclerides or internal hairs. Uh, these sclerides are hair like structures which are found in the intercellular spaces of leaves and stems in some hydrophytes. In some hydrophytes you will find these sclerides which are known as trichosclerides okay uh, in the intercellular spaces of leaves and stems. And finally the functions of sclerides. The prime function of sclerides is the mechanical support and they provide hardness to some plant parts. This is all about sclerides and in the next part we are going to discuss uh, the complex permanent tissues. I hope you all understand this. Stay blessed and thank you all.